Shakari Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And uh, welcome to another transit being presented and brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. I wanted to talk about how the Lord's elect is going to know about the Israelite Gentiles. And the reason why I say that is because the scriptures say ye have an unction from the Holy One. Who's the Holy One? That's Yahweh. And the scripture goes on to say, and ye know all things. <laughs> okay. And ye know all things. So why would the elect not know about the Israelite Gentiles? Okay, because not only will the elect know about the Israelite Gentiles, they will know the characteristics of an Israelite. Okay. Okay, because um, what did Yahweh say in Matthew the fifth chapter? Ye are the salt of the earth. Okay. But if the salt has lost the savor, well, where, wherewith shall it be salted? So Yahweh Shai said that the elect are the salt of the earth. That means we are the best dancers. We are the best entertainment. We, we are the best entertainers. We are the best actors. We are the best sports players. We are the best fighters. We are the most talented, most skillful, most determined, undefeated, undisputed nation on the planet. And there's no nation like the nation of Israel. So the elect is gonna know the characteristics of an Israelite. And they'll be able to tell if somebody's an Israelite, even though they may look like somebody of another nation. Look at Bruce Lee for an example. How can we tell that he was an Israelite? His spirit. Okay, how dedicated he was to uh, kung fu and martial arts. You know his his, uh, his dedication to uh, to 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 become a, a great uh, kung fu artist via using Jeet Kune Do. And Jeet Kune Do is not an art that's easy to master. Okay? You know? And, and, and look at the levels he trained himself to achieve all that power and accuracy. Another way we could tell that Bruce Lee is an Israelite is his inspirational quotes. Okay, Aurelius, you look at uh, Aurelius. Okay, I believe that's his name. He was known for his inspirational quotes. You know, life-changing inspirational quotes that keep you moving. <laughs> okay, I, I forgot his full name, but I know uh, part of his name is Aurelius. Okay. You know, you look at some of these um, dancers, they may look like Chinese or Japanese people, but they be getting down on the dance floor. Okay? You know, there's women out there that look like so-called white women, but they have such, you know, beautiful voices. You know, they can sing their heart and soul out. That's because we have been given the salt of the earth. <laughs> okay.
okay? No, we have the salt, the flavor. We, we have it all, man. Because the Lord's given that to our nation. He's put it in our spirit to be the greatest nation on the face of the earth. Okay? The Lord said, thou art a holy people unto, the, unto Yahweh thy power. It literally means that, man. We're separate, you know. We easily stand out from amongst these other nations, you know. We're the best dancers. I mean, we're, we're, we're the best dressers. We got the greatest styles. You know, some of us come up with, with our own styles. You know? We're the hardest workers. Why do you think America is still running today? Because our people <laughs> are, are, uh, have a lot of these jobs, man, and are keeping the company running. Just real quick, I'm gonna chain up my bike here. So, uh, yeah, bear with me for one moment. I had a feeling that phone was gonna fall. It'll be fine though. Amazingly, I've dropped this phone so many times and there's hardly any cracks in the screen. It's a miracle, right? Well, the Lord deals with miracles. I'm just gonna come in here and give me some chili and cheese. But um, the point is, is that the elect is going to know about the Israelite Gentiles. They're gonna know that the Israelite, that we have been scattered on the four corners of the earth, you know? And you see, when you've been scattered amongst these other nations, as generations pass by, you know, we start to look like the other nations. <laughs> uh, excuse me. You mind if I keep this here? Okay, thank you. You want me to throw it in that room so it's like... Yeah. I respect personal belonging. Appreciate you, boss. I'll just leave like right. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, but uh, you know, that's why that's what basically happened with us. You know, we got scattered amongst these other nations, being that a uh, diaspora. You know, they are dispersed, and what happened was that as generations passed by we started to look like the other nations. That's why you got Israelites living amongst East Indians. That's why you got Israelites living amongst Chinese and Japanese people. That's why you got Israelites living amongst all of these other nations because the Lord scattered us to the four corners of the earth. Even in the book of Isaiah, the 11th, the 11th chapter, what did the Lord say? He said that he will, he will, uh, the, he will set again his hand the second time to recover the remnant of his people. And he named some of the countries where Israel would be scattered at. Okay, and you got Pathros in there. You got Cush, which is him. You got Elam. And I believe Sinar is mentioned, you know. So, um... Yeah, a lot of you guys who don't want to accept uh, a person as an Israelite because he may look like somebody else. Hey, I hate to break it to you, but there's Israelites out there that don't look like your average Israelite. It's just that plain and simple. Okay, because nothing is impossible with the Lord. Okay, the Lord can do that. He could take the, the spirit of an Israelite and put it inside of the body that house that looked like somebody of another nation.
you know? The Lord could do that, man. Nothing is impossible with the Lord, you know? Because at the end of the day, we are, we are spirits and bodies. If you can uh, receive it, okay? Well, we are spirits and bodies. And that's what it really boils down to. So what's an Israelite that looks like a Chinese or Japanese person? That's an Israelite spirit inside of a body that looks Chinese or Japanese. You see? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, think of a spirit being in a body like a peril being inside of a clam, you know, it could be a golden pearl inside of a white clam. It doesn't change the fact that what's inside of that pearl is a golden clam. get taco blend but it's uh here we go i'll just buy this okay so you know salak i just had to go grocery shopping real quick huh. uh, but uh yeah man you know and then you got guys out there who say, you know, every Israelite looks like a black person. Well, what about the tares? You know, Yahweh Shah spoke about the tares. Okay. How, how the tares look like the wheat. The tares mainly is talking about the Edomites that look, that look like black people, you know. You could be talking to a tear, but but think you're talking to an Israelite. But 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 what you're really doing is you're talking to a chocolate covered Edomite. <laughs> you know. Press enter phone number to use your phone number or scan your first item. Okay. So you know, I had to read the ingredients because you you never know what, what Esau puts in the food nowadays. So let me, excuse me one moment. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna pay for my order. So bear with me for one moment. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let me uh, scan my bonus card. But yeah, I wanted to speak on how the elect is going to know about the Israelite Gentiles. Okay, if you don't believe in the Israelite Gentiles, then the Lord is not dealing with you, okay? Point blank, period. Okay, the Lord is dealing with you if you, if you believe in the Israelite Gentiles. Oh shit, hold on. But with that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.